Hello and welcome to the Web and Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. Sogu is chasing Baidu in the Chinese search market. WeChat continues to expand its user base at a substantial rate and Google has launched a webmaster tool in India. The Chinese search engine Sogu is targeting a 5 billion US dollar IPO in the hope of closing on its chief rival Baidu. The company's CEO has said in an interview that it plans to sell around 10% of its shares at some point in 2017. He added that the IPO would be used to assist in the improvement of the search engine by investing in the introduction of AI. Sogu has also said that it would be able to match Baidu in mobile search by 2020, whilst Murray's son, an analyst at Morningstar Investment Service, said looking to improve its AI was the correct strategy. China's smaller search engines like Sogu have seen a recent rise in success following a tough year that Baidu had in 2016, which damaged its reputation. Recently, Sogu's parent company, Sohu, saw a 4.9% rise in shares its biggest gain since March last year. According to its end-of-year report for 2016, WeChat is seeing a huge expansion of its user numbers. The continuing expansion of the messaging app means that it has around 768 million daily users as of September 2016, up more than a third on the preceding 12 months. These figures mean that WeChat continues to be the most popular messaging service in China. The report also looks at the key demographics of the app, finding that just under two-thirds of those daily users were born between 1980 and 1999. It also found that those same users were responsible for 80% of all messages sent. Meanwhile, video calls saw a substantial increase of 180% on 20. 15, reaching the milestone of 100 million calls each day. Google has launched an app in India to help small businesses create their own websites. The My Business tool will be released later in 2017 in India before before being expanded to other markets around the world. Google says that less than 32% of small businesses in India have any sort of web presence, something that the new app will help increase. Rajan Anandan, vice president of Google in India, also added that the company will run campaigns to make more people aware of the My Business tool, but that there was no time frame set for success at the moment. Spanish shoppers are more likely to be buying on mobile than ever before. A study performed by Observatorio Satellum found that around 50% of all internet users in the country have now bought a product or service through their mobile device, up 15% from 2015. The largest increase in mobile purchases could be found in the consumer electronics industry, which saw a rise from 15% to 21% over just the last 12 months. It was also shown that, unsurprisingly, those aged between 25 and 34 were most likely to shop on mobile, followed by those aged between 18 and 24. And finally, IKEA has launched an e-commerce platform in Saudi Arabia. The service allows consumers in the country to have their purchases shipped to them in certain cities, whilst also enabling them to choose specific delivery dates. Faisal Again from IKEA Saudi Arabia said in a statement that the company is committed to creating a better everyday life for many people, adding that it's part of boundless technological progress that they have witnessed in e-commerce. Professor of Marketing Dr. Timothy Derdinger agreed that the move would be beneficial for IKEA in the region, adding that it's not all surprising adding that it's not at all surprising that IKEA has moved forward with expanding its e-commerce platform into the country. And that's all from me today. Thank you for joining us and be sure to check out our Catch Up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos and more. See you next time.